channel. Sorry I've been away. I've been uh, flying around. I've been to the United States, Australia, and then flying around in the Philippines. Anyway, I'm back. I'm finally here to do my one-year review on this off-brand MPP solar inverters. Uh, before we begin, uh, like and subscribe on that little button down there, and uh, we'll get to you soon. Thank you. Bye. All right, build quality. Let me just cut to the chase. Yes, it's made in China. That being said, it's made fairly well. Out of a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a 6.5 to 7, only because it is pretty precisely made. That also being said, I didn't get to examine the MOSFETs because my machine didn't break down. It's been working 24-7 for an entire year. It didn't break down, so there was no need for me to actually check inside for anything damaged or whatever. Um, I know there's people in the internet that have talked about the MOSFETs blowing up and all this other stuff. I've pushed mine to the limits. It has not done that. So as far as build quality is concerned, the only reason why it goes down below uh, a 7.5 or is at a 7 is only because it's made in China. Okay, let's talk about the materials. As far as I can see, the materials on here are just about what you pay for. Again, it's a Chinese made product. They're not going to do uh, a lot to make something as ergonomically designed as say an SMA or a Keiko or a Schneider or any one of those things. That being said, it is put together fairly well. The materials that are used are sufficient for what it's supposed to do. So as far as I'm concerned, just the housing and everything, the structure itself is fairly rigid. It's 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 pretty good as far as um, you know moving it around. It doesn't it doesn't rattle or anything of that nature. So um, when I was installing the product, it was fairly sturdy. It was built solid. But I would rate that also between a six point five and a seven. With regard to specifications, I rate this probably an 8.5, only because it does everything it says it's going to do, but I wouldn't push it to that limit, only because you really never want to do that with any inverter, um, on, so that you're you're playing it safe, I guess you could say. In any case, for this thing, uh, it's rated at 2400 watts, and it performs exactly that, and I would rate it probably an 8, 8.5. Okay, in this section, I'm going to cover installation and use. As far as installation, that's a 10. This thing is the easiest thing I've ever had to install. Uh, basically, everything is plug and play. Uh, I have video where it also shows the menu-driven uh, programming that this machine has. It takes some getting used to. So I score it like an 8.5 to 9. It's, it's relatively easy because there's not much to it. Um, but even that's pretty easy. So if you get to the point where you're able to use the software and everything else, now it's super easy. Now, the hard part about that is getting your software to work. I wouldn't try using a MacBook uh, that's running Windows because it, it's, it doesn't work. It, it just, it's, it's on and off only because MacBook um, has some glitches as far as the comms, uh, the comm connectors that, are, you know, that you, you buy and, and you plug into your USB. But I used an old laptop that was PC driven, uh, an old Dell from 2000, I think 2000, the year 2000, and it worked like a charm. It had a COM port in the back and everything just popped up like magic. So uh, as far as ease of use, if you have all the software and you have some old systems that will support the device, works great. So I would score that still a nine because as far as the simplicity of using this thing, easiest one I've seen um, available. Okay, we now get to the programmability of this machine. 
as I said, if if you're able to learn quickly on the menu-driven onboard system that it has, it's relatively easy. If you get to the point where you have software that you can use, and you know you're now connected via your PC through a COM port, programming it is even easier. So that being said, um, once you get everything running, it's pretty good. So again, I, I scored that as a nine, but the ability to program uh, the the machine to run solar only or solar battle, battery utility or solar utility, all these different parameters that you that you can set. I didn't think for me that it would matter, but later on as you're using different appliances, it does begin to matter. But the programmability is all there, it allows you to be flexible and do things with this machine that you couldn't normally do with other machines. So I'd score it a nine. Okay, we now get to the efficiency and dependability. As far as efficiency is concerned, I actually have a comparison between the output of the battery and the output of the machine itself. And I was getting anywhere from 0.8 or 80% to about 95% efficiency, which I think is pretty good. So just based on that score, I score that between an 8 and a 9.5. So it'll fluctuate depending on, I guess, uh, what appliances you put on there. Um, as far as dependability, again, it hasn't let me down in the area that I'm at, which is a third world country. The power has a tendency to go down almost every day. As a matter of fact, in the last three months, um, or actually in the last three months, it's been going down every other day. In the last three weeks, it's been going down every day. And then, of course, you have power fluctuations. Here we have a 220 volt system. Power fluctuations range anywhere from 170 to 245, uh, with the frequency fluctuating plus or minus 5 on uh, what's supposed to be 60 hertz. So when I have it on my inverter, it stays at 228 volts steady, and then it's at 60 hertz steady, pure sine wave. So as far as dependability, not going down, being able to work, and all this other stuff, it has worked like a charm 24-7, 365 days out of the year. Okay, here we are now with cost and value. First of all, there is nothing that's going to be cheaper than this MPP solar inverter and then perform with what it has. So as far as a, uh, the value for the money, there is nothing out there that's better than MPP. In my opinion, I haven't found anything. There's a lot of copycats out there, um, and mine included. It's a rebranded MPP, um, but as long as the the components are the same, um, the software is the same. So far, as far as I can tell, there isn't anything out there that remotely challenges MPP Solar when it comes to converting sun into direct AC power. Uh, the only company I know that has an emergency power system like that is SMA, and they're very expensive. Um, I know that they run a 2,000 watt emergency only uh, sun to AC power on their inverter. Uh, there might be some other companies out there, I can't remember offhand, but MPP Solar has an inverter out there that will run an air conditioner. It's on YouTube, you can see it. Some other guy in Phoenix, Arizona has one. and it'll run his air conditioning unit without any batteries, which is crazy, right? So as long as you have enough solar panels to support how much power you're actually using, whatever your peak power is, um, it'll work. The great thing about this is that it's inexpensive. I can buy two of these inverters, three, four sometimes, uh, for the price of one Premier inverter uh, through like SMA or Schneider or Keiko or whoever else. They're very expensive. Um, that being said, again, you know, the there's you have to you have to operate you have to operate these inverters based on their specifications. If you start pushing it beyond it or close to it, yeah, you could probably damage it because even the the premier inverter uh, company inverter companies will tell you, don't push your inverter that close to our maximum specifications. So 
cost and value wise if you're say you're only running like a five kilowatt system or something like that that's your peak power for the day cost wise this is the cheapest way you can go um, probably not as efficient as say a solar edge but again there's a lot of other extra components on the solar edge that make it more efficient but if you're just trying to get up and running and get solar going and saving money and all that stuff this is an excellent value for the money so with that hope you've enjoyed this channel hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe and hope to see you again soon i mean i've been doing a lot of traveling studying solar as well uh and uh I hope to start putting videos out again uh, like I did before, once a week, once every two weeks. So sorry for the delay. Y'all have a nice day.